Hey guys, welcome back to Five Minutes with the Technician. My name's Daniel. So today I want to show you how to measure your tools on your brand new K600. So there's two ways to do it. Okay, the first is using an air cylinder. Okay, so if we come over to the machine, you'll see we have a little air cylinder there. If you've never used it, I'm going to show you how. So first things first, when we come up to the screen, you'll see currently we have the blade selected. So when you measure your tools, typically you want to measure the finger bit first. Okay, so measure the finger bit first because it's going to ask you for the blade diameter right after. So it's going to ask you to measure the blade. So we'll come up to the screen and we're going to hit F9, the one with the little gear on it, because we're going to change the tool type. Come up to tool type and we're going to click on the, see it shows blade there. If we click on that and we, we're going to change it to the mill. Okay, so the finger bit is known as the mill. Click that, and we're going to escape. So now we have the finger bit set here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and measure that. So we're going to click F1 and then F3. I don't know if you can see, but it's got a little air cylinder thing on there. Click that. Your air cylinder will pop up. The head will tilt down, and it's going to go and measure. Okay, so now if we come over to the screen, you'll see we've got an updated finger bit length. So what we need to do is we actually need to record this. So for me, I take a picture of it and then I'm gonna put it in alpha cam. We'll do that in just a sec. But for now, we've got our new finger bit length. Let me show you the other way to measure this finger bit. So if your air cylinder doesn't work, you can always measure it right off the table directly. So we've already set the tool type to the finger bit. So what we need to do, if you have a remote, this is where it's really handy for the remote. So to use the remote, click the start button to turn it on, come over to the machine. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to drop the Z axis down until that finger bit just touches the table. Okay, find a nice clean spot on the table. And we're going to bring it down and we're gonna get it to where it's just barely touching. So right about there, it's touching the table. All right, so now we're gonna come back to the screen here. We're gonna click F1 and then F2. If you see the finger bit is touching a flat surface, that is your table. Boom, and there we go. So your finger bit length here, same deal. So you would record this and then take it over and put it into alpha cam. Let's do the blade next, okay? So let's raise this thing back up. And now we gotta change the tool type back, okay? So we're gonna click F9. And as soon as I come in here to try to change it, see I didn't click anything, it automatically says calibrate the blade. So it asks you for the blade right after you do the finger bit. So that's why I said if you're going to measure both tools, do the finger bit first, because it's gonna ask you for the blade right after. Okay, so now we can escape. Now it's set to the blade. It's the same process. We're going to go F1. And if we have the air cylinder, let's use F3. All right, guys, so now we've measured the blade. It's going to display our new diameter. It's the same deal. Record the new diameter, and we're going to take that and put it in an alpha cam. Okay, let me show you how to touch off the blade to the table. This is the second way, just like I did with the finger bit. We're going to bring that blade down to the table. So for me, I'm going to use the remote. 
and we're, we're just going to drop it down to the table. All right. Right there, we got a little bit of tension. Doesn't need to be super tight. Um, so, like, if I move it in X, you'll see, like, it's tight enough to where it'll spin. All right, back on the screen, F1 and then F2 to touch it off the table. There we go. So, same deal. You'll want to capture this, boom, and bring it over into Alpha Cam. Let's walk over to Alpha Cam. I'll show you how to do that real quick. All right, I don't know how this is going to video, but if you're in Alpha Cam, okay, so I'm in Alpha Cam. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cl click Select Tool, okay? Let's edit our finger bit. So I click on Select Tool, go to my finger bit, and right click, then go to Edit Tool, okay? And here is where you're going to input the new length of your finger bit. So let me see what that was. All right. All right, so my handy dandy picture, I got 6.551 from the air cylinder, 551. Okay, so I've input the new length into the finger bit, just click okay, and then save. It says, do you wanna replace? Yes. Okay, so there's an extra step with the finger bit. So after I've updated it, we need to click sync style tool data. Okay, click sync style tool data. And then in this screen, nothing populates yet. You're gonna click missing tools, then different tools. And now a list populates. We wanna update all of these machining styles. So click the small checked box at the top left corner. Then click sync style tool data. It's gonna say, are you sure you wanna do this? Yes, I'm sure. Click okay and close. Your finger bit has been updated. Let's do the blade. It's a little bit simpler. So we're going to click select tool again, right click on your blade and go to edit tool. Okay, find what your blade diameter was. So we had 19.46. So 19.146 and we're gonna click okay and save. It says, are you sure? Do you wanna replace it? Yes. Okay, that's how you update your tools in AlphaCam. If you already had something that was tool path and had a, you know, your cut lines on it and whatnot, you're going to want to purge your cuts and then run cut parts right after. So that's how you touch off your tools and that's how you update them in AlphaCam. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.